Yeah, hi. Um, just a short introduction. Thanks uh, a lot to be here again. Um, I was here exactly two years ago in the Data Days 2012. And um, we participated and uh, uh, won uh, in the competition. Uh, a lot has happened since then. A lot has happened in the technology world, but also for our company. Uh, we managed to get uh, Deutsche Post as a customer, amongst others. So that was a very important step for us. We really developed our product. And we are going tomorrow uh, to Silicon Valley with the German Silicon Valley Accelerator, uh, sponsored by the Bundeswirtschaftsministerium. So I'm really excited uh, about what has happened so far. So I can only say uh, good luck today afterwards. And uh, it's really a great uh, opportunity to be here again. Uh, I want to talk a bit about the vision because uh, this is really an important thing. Uh, most people really uh, have a vision when they start a company, a vision like this, you know. Um, but I really like to connect a bit with a, uh, with a speech of, uh, of Nina Dirks. What's also our responsibility? I think it's, it doesn't hurt to have, apart from an aim like becoming rich, a bit of a thing that we want to change, how we want to make the world better. And as we know, uh, I don't need to repeat this, data is power. And there's always somebody who will use power if it's just lying out there. So uh, this was also one of the things that we thought, OK, well, what can we do? What can we really uh, change and what can we make better? And one thing I think is very clear also when you look at this slide, um, big data is uh, uh, often uh, a lot of different logos, a lot of different systems, and there's really no system that will uh, be the one system in the future. Not even Google, not even SAP, not even Oracle. Uh, they are all coming with new solutions and it's more and more variety and systems diversity and more and more confusion also, if you look to the consumers and if you look to the companies. So uh, for us, we thought, wow, this big data, it sounds so easy when the people are talking about it, but often it's big data is really a big mess a really huge puzzle, and you don't know how to fit it together. It looks all very nice uh, when the software companies pre present it to you, but then there's always the question, how do we put it together? And uh, this is the vision that we had when we founded Data Virtuality. Our vision is to be the glue that holds these big data worlds and this puzzle together. And um, we developed a product that actually allows you and the companies to use any system together basically to combine everything like components, uh, Baukasten principle, and use all the systems together and not be dependent on one big manufacturer, but use everything that you like and put it very easily together. So our software acts as a virtual layer around all the systems that you can imagine, anything from Google, CSV data, um, SAP, uh, Mongo, MySQL, really doesn't matter. You can use any system, web service, SQL, no SQL. And then you can connect any data consumer that you like, because with us, you are not limited to any software. Our software acts as a, a data hub in the middle, so it exchanges all the data from all the system with all the data consumers. And you can even choose the database in which uh, our software constructs uh, the business intelligence. You can choose anything from Oracle, SAP HANA, Postgres, SQL Server, and so on. So, Basically, we have something that allows you to flexibly use anything that you would like in just a few clicks and a few days. You don't no longer need to build huge systems over months. And um, the result is that these uh, customers here were able to construct their data landscapes in just a week uh, with costs that is much, much lower than what the big companies usually pay. Uh, sometimes these projects cost like 500,000 euros or even a million or something like that. And uh, they were able to do that for, I don't know, a couple thousand euros with our company. So actually our vision, if I go back to the beginning, just to look at the slide. Um, is actually to take away some of that power from the big manufacturers and actually let you choose which software you use. You can also uh, choose a small software company that is very good, maybe in CRM software, maybe in web analytics, and you can use it together with your SAP if you have the money uh, uh, to actually use all that together. And we think 
um, this will also lead to a world where uh, the company and the consumers can decide a bit on their own who they give their power uh, or where they actually want to conserve it. Thanks a lot for your attention. And good luck with the presentations. <laughs> <laughs>